Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel if you're completely new. My name is Brittany, I'm a part-time reseller. I'm also a stay-at-home, work-at-home, whatever you want to call it, at-home mom. And I'm actually filming this video during nap time. Um, so if it seems like I'm trying to be a little bit quiet, that's because I am. If it looks like I've been run ragged and I'm very sweaty, that's because I am. Um, I do live in Florida, it's still very, very hot here. Um, but I have been able to find a good bit of fall and winter stuff to resell and do pick up items throughout the year that are out of season for the following season or even like right now summer things still sell for me so um if you want to see what i picked up at the goodwill outlet or the goodwill bins just keep on watching okay so i've gotten a lot of questions what are bins what are you talking about in my last video which i'll link right here i did a what sold video and I had said I found this at the bins or I picked this up at the bins and I got some comments and DMs on my Instagram, which by the way, I'll put my Instagram right here. What are the bins? Like, what are you talking about? So Goodwill has an outlet center and things get taken there before they even hit the store sometimes or they will be sent there once they pull the color of the week and sent to the outlet and they're dumped in giant bins and they're wheeled out um, you get to pick through them sometimes you get like it's the first time anybody's seen these items so it's um somewhat of an advantage and it's super super cheap so if you haven't like checked out a bin near you i definitely recommend it it's a good way to keep your cost of goods down i think mine's per pound like a dollar 38 or something so for all of these items which i think i have around 50 or 60 items. I might not get through all of them or I might split this video into two. Um, I think I paid about $40. So that's obviously around a dollar or less per item. I'm not going to do the math, but I picked up one pair of shoes. I have two bags today and then I have a lot of clothes. So I'm just going to hop on into the clothing first. So like I said, I might have to split this video in half. I don't like to go over a 15 minute video because my retention time is still low. I'm working on that um, and we'll get into that later. But the first thing I found was this Boohoo, which is a fast fashion brand, which you guys know how I feel about that. And if you don't <laughs> follow me on Instagram, um, but it's there. They have like a night line, I guess. And it's like this really thin uh, spaghetti strap, like bodycon dress. It's like this satiny material. I think this is a size six okay it's a six or a us two um this is super lightweight i probably paid like 50 cents for it i'm hoping to get around like 15 dollars for that but it it's worth like trying to flip okay the next thing these tops like don't always do the best but i like to have and again if you're new sorry i feel like i'm talking a lot and not showing many things i'm gonna get it going but i sell on poshmark uh, Macari and eBay. So on my Poshmark, I'm trying to do the five for 25 to get more traffic into my closet and then they'll be exposed to my other items. But these are good like bread and butter items that people can bundle. Um, this is just the soft and sexy by um, American Eagle, but this has like good keywords like lace up front or like crisscross front v-neck, um, all of that. And it's super soft too. I'll probably only get like, I don't know, maybe 10 or less for that. But again, a good item to have to bundle. Okay, this is a new to me brand, but I have sold items like this before. Sorry. And um, this, this uh, tie dye has a specific name. I'm going to have to look it up again. But this has like a lot of going for it. It has a keyhole twist back. It's loose. It has the tie dye. It has the adjustable um, like rouging down here and it's like an, a yoga brand I think so this is an extra large too I should be able to get at least like 18 for that again lightweight so it didn't cost me like anything okay these were an exciting find and they look brand new I don't even think they've been washed um, they're Levi Strauss and if you guys watched my last video you know I'm really weird about Levi's I'm not good at telling what's like worth my time and what's not but I think this workwear brand does well because it's more of like an industrial like you know 
construction, hunting, outdoor type brand and these retail for a good bit. So um, I'm hoping to get at least 30 for these, um, maybe more. I haven't really done many comps on them. I did run comps while I was there. I think I saw I could get like 30. I would probably accept like 25. I probably paid though like 250 for these because they are pretty heavy. All right, this was a new to me brand too. It's called A Loves A. Um, but I thought this looked like a nicer, like maybe like Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack type of brand, and I think it is. Um, again, I bought all this a few weeks ago, so I forget what comps I ran, but this looks like it was gonna go for like 20 or $25, and it's just like a distressed neckline, like ruffle t-shirt. Honestly, I'd probably keep this for myself, but it's a, a large, I think it would be a little too droopy. I have like no chest, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think th this was a good find. It's something I'm going to experiment with. All right. This one I wasn't sure about. I feel like this market is oversaturated. I would for sure not pick this up if it was at the regular Goodwill store. But because it was at the outlet and I was like, well, I want to keep like my listings up. I want to be able to list a good bit throughout the week. Um, I grabbed it. It's just a PFG women's. Uh, Columbia, like, you know, fly fishing, outdoor hiking, whatever you want to call it, like button up collared shirt. Um, I thought it was, the color was cute. So I think there's probably a lot of them listed online, but it will help me signal to eBay and Poshmark and Macari that I'm like active and listing a lot. Okay. This is so cute. I sh <laughs> this is actually funny though. I showed this to my mom on FaceTime and I was like, I wouldn't wear this, but I feel like it's really cute. And she was like, yeah, she was like, someone that's cute and trendy would wear it. And I was like, I guess I'm not cute and trendy anymore, but it's this like smocked, super stretchy elastic crisscross ruffle botanical floral, like rust colored, um, crop top and it's by uh patreons of peace i think this is sold at like nordstrom or anthropology again a good item hopefully someone will bundle it but i don't know probably like 20 or 25 for this and i did find a new hack which i'll share after i get through some of this stuff um okay this had a lot going for it. I would not pick up this brand if it didn't have a lot going for it, but it's westbound. It's 55% linen, so I'll put linen blend in the title. It's roll tab sleeve, um, rainbow, like button up, bohemian, lag and look. I'll use all those keywords. Shirt. Um, it has pockets in the front. Again, since it's from the bins, why not just try it out? Um, if it doesn't move, I'll just drop the price and get it cleared out, but I feel like this will, will do pretty well because of all it has going for it. I'll probably get about um, 15 or 20 for that. Okay, this got mixed in here. This was actually from a local thrift store, and if it has a green or blue tag, they are clearing out their inventory, and it was only a dollar. So, it's this like 80s. I want to say this is 80s, right? Please correct me in the comments if I'm totally wrong. Um, it says made in the U.S. It's definitely vintage. It's, I believe, single stitch. Yeah, so that's a good way to know if it's vintage. Like this graph, um, graphic shirt with all these parrots on it. And I did not look up comps. Again, you guys know I have two kids. I did not have time when I ran into the, ran into that store and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna try it. I feel like this haul is very experimental for me, but I will report back to you guys and let you know what sold. Um, some of these were like a no-brainer though. Uh, this is a, again, floral rust colored, really good for fall. Um, Max Studio bell sleeve pleated blouse and it's really pretty again i would probably keep it for myself but it's not my size um this was from the bins everything else is from the bins i believe and i just felt like this was a really cool warm fall pattern and you could just dress it up or down with jeans okay um i'll probably get like 20 for that max studio does okay for me and i feel like a lot of people hate on it but it moves and it's 
like trendy if you can find those items like that it does pretty good so don't sleep on brands just because other people say they don't move for them you ha really have to try them out for yourself okay Talbots I don't pick up a lot of Talbots but this was super soft again that rainbow pattern I feel like that's pretty popular right now um, it has some cashmere in it really low amount <laughs> five percent but I can say cashmere blend and disclose um, a picture on the tag of the tag in my listing and it's a size small and again I wanted to mention if you guys see anything you like you can DM me on Instagram I can give you a better deal because I'm not paying a platform fee and I'll also have my um, Poshmark linked below you can bundle things tell me that you came from Instagram and I'll try and discount uh, something for you even more okay this is a I don't know how to say this Daniel Creme, I, I have no idea. I've sold this brand a few times. These shirts look like they were um, dry cleaned. They're size XXL. They're 100% cotton. They look like they are in really good condition, either new without tags or dry cleaned. So I'll just put their pre-owned. But it's um, this pretty like purple and blue. And then I found one that was identical, same size, so it's obviously probably from the same person, but um, orange and blue. And I was going to put those in a set and sell them for like, I don't know, 30 bucks. And I normally when I list something in a set, I'll also list them separately in case someone doesn't find that through a set listing and sometimes people only want one shirt or sometimes they filter by the lowest price and they won't see that because it's higher because I put the two items together so I hope that makes sense okay my camera always says it's overheating okay this again wouldn't pick this up if it was just this brand but it had a lot going for it so it's this pastel colored plaid long sleeve I don't find this these sizes often and I'm sure people that wear the size don't find it often so it's like a good thing to have in your store um, in my opinion and I think I'll get like 20 or 25 for that I feel like a lot of these items are gonna be 20 or 25 there's not there were a few that I'm really excited about which I'll get to, I'll try and filter them up to the top but okay I watched a haul and I had never heard of this brand and then I went to the bins and I found it. So normally I wouldn't pick up just like regular pants like this. Um, these are Jams World. These, this brand does well. It's like a funky 90s brand. These are super vibrant blue um, tie waist pants. 15 or 20 for those. Um, okay, I shared this on my Instagram. Don't sleep on J. Crew. These are... J. Crew Mercantile, I hope I'm saying that right, size 27, straight leg, cropped, I believe, um, pants. This olive green color always seems to do well. I'll probably get about 20 for those. Okay, lucky brand. I was not sure about picking this up, but it was a bins find, so why not, right? Um, it looks like an older tag. I'm going to check if this is has any silk in it extra small I normally only like picking up really it's the tags cut out so um I like picking up bigger sizes from Lucky Brand they always do better for me but I'll probably get I don't know 15 I might even put this in 5 for 25 just to draw traffic to my store okay I grabbed this actually for myself it's just a Banana Republic button up like ruffle sleeveless blouse I'm probably not going to bother to sell that. Okay. Again, new to me brand. And when you see the tag like this, I did not go to the regular store. They just threw from the regular store into the bins. Um, HIP hip ribbed like polyester blend, blend, uh, blend. Um, flare comfy like sweater pants. That's not what I'm going to list them as, but you get the idea. Um, these are from Nordstrom. I believe they're in the junior section. And I think they'll do well because I don't see a lot of stuff like that. And since I can put Nordstrom in the title, I feel like that will help it. 
Okay, this I actually grabbed from my husband. It's a Pebble Beach Performance size large. It has... Wait, is that just from... Oh, that's just from the front, I think. Um, the This, though, I could probably get like $20 for it. They're real, those don't snag and they are hard to wrinkle, so you can use that in the title if you ever find that. Straight leg, just American Eagle, super stretch, size 4. In my last haul, I did mention for American Eagle, I can normally get um, like 18 to 20, 25. Just a bread and butter item, those were probably $1.50. Okay, Rachel Roy um modal like uh silky feeling satin pants they're like career wear i'll put that in the title i'll put in the description that they have belt loops and all of that so size six i wasn't sure about these but i wanted to try and again, 15 to 20. Okay, my camera is getting really hot, so I'm going to end on this one. And this will be a two-part video, so if you're watching this and part two is already up, I will link it down in the description and I'll pop it up right here as well. Okay, this was the find, and I think I'm going to use this on the cover photo, so it's not really a surprise, that I was excited about. It's in good condition. It does need a little love. There's dust. There's, like just stuff on it but you know it's really old it's a vintage Dooney Burke Dooney and Burke wallet front briefcase purse I think that will be a good way to describe it the inside's not really that bad and the bottom is in good condition which is important I believe I've never sold vintage Dooney and Burke before, but I think I can get $40 to $50 for this because it's in good condition. It's a larger piece. It has the, like, logo right on the front, um, and it still has, like, the hang down hardware. So we will see. I will report back once this sells in a what sold video. Um, but yeah, I thought this was a cool find, and then previous to this, haul i believe i found um another dooney and burke it was a crossbody also blue lighter blue though like more of a royal vibrant blue and i found that one for 250 and honestly i paid less for this one probably because it um at my bin say go by the pound and this doesn't weigh much so it's probably like a dollar 75 uh, which is awesome so i'll let you guys know how all of this goes Again, if you're completely new, thank you so much for watching. If you are a return visitor, thank you for coming back. Um, I will be posting from here on out at least one to two videos a week. I'm going to try and mix it up and do one haul video, one sold video, and just like keep it moving. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please tell YouTube that you did by giving it a thumbs up subscribe it will greatly help my channel and i really really appreciate it and i'll see you guys next time in part two or in another video that you watch of mine and again thank you so much bye